When researchers say that a vaccine trial has shown 90 or 95 or 70 percent efficacy, where do they get their numbers? Well, to understand that, you'll need to understand how clinical trials work. Vaccines have to go through three phases of clinical trials before they can be approved. In phases one and two, vaccines are tested in small groups. If those tests show a vaccine to be generally safe and that it provides some sort of immune response, then the clinical trial enters the next important stage, phase three. Now we're getting somewhere. In phase three, the vaccine is tested on thousands of people, ideally tens of thousands of people. And that's where the researchers get their numbers. So here you've got your control group. They're just getting a saline shot in the arm, basically salt and water as a placebo. And here you've got the group that's actually getting the vaccine. Now to keep things simple, let's say there's 100 people in each group. Though, like we said, it would be tens of thousands in a real phase three trial. Now, over the course of this phase, participants have to report how they're feeling. If they're feeling unwell, for instance, they'd get a test to confirm whether or not they have the disease. Let's say 10 people get sick in the control group, but in the group that got the vaccine, only one person gets sick. So to figure out vaccine efficacy, we take the number of people who got sick in the control group, so that's 10 out of 100, and subtract the number that got sick in the test group, which in our example is one out of 100. That leaves us with nine out of 100. Then you divide that number by the group that didn't get the vaccine, 10 out of 100 again, simplify that and you've got nine out of 10. And then you multiply all of that by 100 to get your percentage, and voila! In this example, the vaccine has an efficacy of 90%. To put that in perspective, using one of the recent COVID-19 vaccine trials from BioNTech and Pfizer, they had 44,000 participants. Of those, 170 were confirmed to be infected with COVID-19, eight in the test group and 162 in the placebo group. So doing the math, that means their vaccine has an efficacy of 95%. Moderna reported an efficacy rate of 94.5% for its vaccine, and a vaccine being trialed by Oxford University and AstraZeneca has an efficacy of 70%, but up to 90% depending on the dose. All right, that's enough math for one day.